All right then, so this site is looking pretty swanky so far. We've got our header, our different images down here, our parallaxes, and now I wanna fill in these two separate parts of content. The first one at the top, we wanna to create some kind of tabs. And by that, I mean a couple of different buttons. When you click on one button, it shows some content. When you click on another, it shows some different content. And there may be some dummy content over here on the left as well. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can create these tabs. So to begin with, what I'd like to do is just get rid of this dummy content right here. This is where the tabs are gonna go. We'll keep this container right here, but what we'll do is turn this into a section tag like so, and change the closing tag as well. I'm also gonna give this a class of section just so it gets that extra padding that we applied in our own CSS. Then we'll give this an ID equal to services, since this is gonna basically describe the different services on offer, which is gonna be photography and editing. And each one of those different services is gonna have its own different tab. Now, before we start making the tabs, let's make our little grid to lay this out. So we'll do a div with a class of row, first of all, then we want a section on the left. So we'll do a div, that's gonna have a class of col, also S12, so 12 columns in width for small screens and up. Then when it gets to large screens, I'd like this to take up four columns, so L4. All right then, so in this section, we just want an H2 with a class of indigo hyphen text, and we'll also darken that, so text hyphen darken hyphen four, and inside we'll just say what I do. Not yet I do, what I do. All right then, so, now we'll do a paragraph tag and we'll just do some dummy content inside here. So let me just grab one of these again and get rid of all that. All right, and paste that in. Cool, so now we have some dummy content there as well. In fact, what I'll do is just place another one of those just to pad it out a little bit. And that's the stuff for the left-hand side. So if we look now, we can see that over on the left taking up four columns in width. If we scoot down to a mobile size, it's gonna take 12 columns in width. And by the way, I realize I'm not showing you the rest of the website in mobile version yet. It looks something like this. All right, so it's all looking pretty good so far. So then, now we need to create this section on the right, the tabs. So to do that, let's go down here and underneath this column, we'll create another div with a class of call. Now on a mobile, I want this to have 12 columns of width. Then when it gets to large screens, I wanna say L6 for six columns in width. Now this one is four columns in width and this is six, which means we've got two columns left on large screens. So what I'm gonna do is offset this element two to the right so that we have those two columns as space in between. So I'll say dot offset and then it's gonna be dash L for large screens and two columns. All right then. So in here, this is where we're gonna do the actual tabs. So. The way we do tabs, first of all, is by creating a UL for the tabs at the top themselves. So let's create that UL. We also need to give this a class of tabs. All right then, so inside here, we want to create an LI tag for each different tab. So the first one is gonna be li.tab. We give this a class of tab. And also I'm gonna give this a col class and an S6 class. So that basically means this is gonna take up six columns of width inside this div right here, okay? All right then, so inside this li, we'll do an anchor tag, and that is gonna have a class of indigo hyphen text, and also text hyphen darken hyphen four. All right then, so inside here, we'll say photography, since that's the first service. Then I'm just gonna grab this, copy it and paste it down below, and scoot this back and change this to editing because this is the second tab. Okay, so we have now this UL for the tabs and each tab has an LI with an anchor tag inside of it. So if we save it and view it in the browser, it's gonna look something like this at the minute. But at the minute, it doesn't really do anything. It just reloads the page. So instead, what we wanna do is hook this up to some content down below so that when you click on one of these tabs, it shows a different part of content. So let us go down here now and underneath the UL, I'm gonna create a div and this is gonna have a class of col and also S12 because it's gonna take up 12 columns of width of this thing right here. 
So the full width, basically. All right, so inside here, I'm going to do a P tag, and that's going to have a class of flow hyphen text. And then inside that, in fact, we'll also give this a class of indigo hyphen text and text hyphen darken four. All right, so this is going to be for photography. And then underneath that, we'll do a load of lorem ipsum. So let me just grab this stuff right here, copy it and paste it right here. So we have our div now for that content. Let's also create a div for the content of editing. So I'm going to copy this and paste it down below again. And this time we want to say editing right here. Oops, in capitals. And then that's fine. So we have our two different parts of content now. Now, what I like to do is when we click on this, we show this stuff. And when we click on editing, we show this stuff. So we need to link up this content with these tabs. Now, the way we do that is by first of all, giving each one of these an ID. So this ID right here is going to be photography. And then the ID of this one down below is going to be editing like so. Now, after that, it's simply just a case of adding in the ID into these href attributes right here. So photography is going to go to photography, which means it's going to look at this one and open it up. And editing is going to go to hash editing. All right. So this won't work at the minute because we've not initialized it. But if we go down to our JavaScript down here and enter down, all we need to say is look for the class of tabs and then use a method called dot tabs self explanatory. So if we save now, we can see that currently we're on editing. If we go on photography, then it goes to photography. Now, I don't think these colors look great. So what I'm going to do is just override this with a little bit of CSS. So all I'm going to do is copy this from my GitHub repo because it is purely just colors at the minute. And I'm going to go right to the top and place them underneath this thing right here. So we can see tabs.indicator and that has a background color of purple. And then when a tab is focused or active, the background is transparent. And the way I found those rules is by right clicking over here, going to inspect. And we should in a second be able to see the different rules right here. So I just grab them from over here on the right. If, for example, I inspect this one, we can see over here tabs.active right there. I grab that. And I just pasted it up here. So I'm giving those some different background colors so that it looks a little bit better now when I click on these two things. All right. So there we go, my friends. Now, when you click on editing, we see editing, photography, photography. That is our tabs in action.